Hey, Walt, ready for a bedtime story? Already, my old shoe. How are you? Oh, I'm very good. How about yourself? I'm good. Uh, do you notice anything different about me tonight? Uh, let's see. Did you get a haircut? Oh, no, I don't get haircuts. They just kind of fall out. Oh, is that a new tie? No, this is the old Ponderosa, I call it. I wear this every day. Something different. Let's see. Gee, Walt, did you, uh, did you do something different with your mustache today? That's it. I did it. I styled it myself. It looks absolutely different. Uh, what do you got going on there? Well, I call this baby the compass. Oh, I see. Kind of have every direction represented there. Yep. I, uh, I never lost when I got this baby tuned up. Well, it looks fabulous. Thank you. Hey, let's check out our book. Okay. It's called Lost and Found. Whoa, is that their names? Doubtful. I, uh, I think it might have something to do with the story itself. Okay, let's go. It's very pretty. Uh, I like the illustrations quite a bit, actually. There's a suitcase. Oh, that is pretty. It looks like they're going places. Let's see what we got here. Once there was a boy. I don't see any boy. Wait, let me get my cheaters. Your cheaters? What are cheaters? These are uh, given to me by my friend Flyboy. Uh, they're so I can see things up close better. Check that out. Oh, <laughs> hey, yeah, they help you to read a little bit? Yep, like I couldn't see that boy. And there he is. They work perfect. Well, congratulations. I'm glad you got those. Let me start over. Once there was a boy who found a penguin at his door. What a strange thing to find at your door. The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, and the boy thought it must be lost. Oh, poor penguin. I'm giving him a hug. That's very nice. So the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. Nice boy. He checked in the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. Not even man, apparently. Oh, yeah, that's his name. Uh, you would think someone would notice a missing penguin. Yeah, you would think they'd report that. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin came from, but they ignored him. Some birds are like that. Yep, the ones in my neighborhood won't uh, give you the time of day. Uh, the squirrels will talk your ear off, though. Oh, well, that's good. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know either. Ducks are very bright. Let's not stereotype. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he wasn't sure how. Boy, that's a stumper. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the South Pole. But how could he get there? Oh, maybe he could take the train? Eh, South Pole is through an ocean. He ran down to the harbor and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. Oh, darn it! I thought he had a good answer there. Together, the boy decided he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. So the boy took his rowboat out and tested it for size and strength. He told stories to the penguin to help pass the time. They're going to row that boat across the ocean? That's what they say. Then they packed everything they would need. Well, apparently they need an umbrella, and a sock. Huh. Yeah, kind of light pack. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. And they push the rowboat out to sea. What don't you like? Well, it looks a little dark and uh, scary. It does, doesn't it? And they look kind of tiny against this big kind of ocean. It is a little front. Oh, yikes. Yeah, we weren't wrong. They rowed south for many days and many nights. There was lots of time for stories, and the penguin listened to every one, so the boy would always tell another. Um, if I could just make a public service announcement, boys and girls, don't ever try to row anywhere ever, ever. Yeah, it's probably good advice. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I don't think things are looking good. They floated through good weather and bad, and when the waves were as big as mountains. Oh man, I hope they make it okay. Until finally they came to the South Pole. 
They made it. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly it looked sad again as the boy helped it out of the boat. Huh, why would he be sad? He's home. I'm not sure. I want you to think about that, okay? Okay. Then the boy said goodbye. Oh, I think I got it. You know why the penguin's sad again? I think so. The boy said goodbye and floated away. When he looked back, the penguin was still there. But it looked sadder than ever. Yup, I think I got it. It felt strange for the boy to be on his own. There was no point in telling stories now because there was no one to listen except for the wind and the waves. Historically not good listeners. Instead, he just thought. And the more he thought, the more he realized he had made a big mistake. That's what I was thinking. The penguin hadn't been lost. It had just been lonely. Go get him. Quickly, he turned the boat around and rowed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. Uh-oh. They don't see each other because of that iceberg. You're right. They can't see. Oh, this is like a, an episode of Three's Company. <laughs> At last, he reached the pole again, but where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. Come on. They just missed each other. Sadly, the boy set off for home. Maybe they should call this book Found and Lost. <laughs> but then the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. I see it. Let me point to it with my compass. See? Oh, yeah, I see it there. Closer and closer he got until he could see... <gasps> the penguin! He did find the penguin. Oh, let me get in on that. Oh, a nice welcoming hug. Let's see what else we got. And so the boy and his friend went home together, talking of wonderful things all the way. Oh, thank goodness there's a happy ending. I was a little bit nervous. Where'd you get that book? Oh, this book? I got this from my friend Natalie. Natalie? Who's she? Let's see. Natalie is a, a girl that goes to my school. What's she like? Oh, Natalie? Natalie is, let's see, uh, very smart, um, hard worker. Um, hilarious, smiley, funny, sweet, kind. Boy, that kid's got everything. She is really just a wonderful human being. But then a lot of the kids up there are... Wow, I hope I get to meet him someday. Do me too. Hey, I'll tell you what. When this is all said and done, we're all back together at school, maybe you could come in one day and meet everybody. That would be awesome. Well, you are hereby invited to come and join us at school, so hopefully we'll see you up there someday. Let's say good night to Natalie. Good night, Natalie. And uh, good night to everybody else out there. Good night, everybody else out there.